What's up, bitches? I'm talking about what's up, my bitches. All right, guys. I went ahead and got the Daniels Defense Omega uh, Quad Rail 7.0. So let's have a look at it on the little SBR. So this is what it looks like. Got it all mounted up on there. Um, I was gonna get that Riz too, but um, that looked like a headache, and I might do it on a different build. But this is the 11 and a half inch uh, BCM uh, build here for the Daniels Defense Omega Quad Rails. If you're wondering what this is, this is the rear swing, uh, sling swivel attachment. And basically, as you can see, it's right here in the rear of the uh, receiver tube or extension or buffer tube, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it, it just basically hangs around here. You can take this out right here if I can try and do it one-handed style. So here we go. There we go. You can take these out. And you can, if you're, I would mount it on the other side because I'm right-handed. You can pull it, plug it in there, pull it out and twist it, and it has limited travel, so it doesn't, it only moves so much, like it only moved to here to here. Okay, it doesn't spin all the way around. So, uh, if you get two of these, you one in the back, one in the front, and then you got your, uh, your sling ready for action. As you see, Daniel's Defense right there. It'll camera will focus right. And uh, so that's what it looks like right there. Yep. We'll get down right on it. You can see. Looks pretty good. I like the way it looks, and it's sturdy as hell. Um, these rail rail covers. Let's see, put them on. You just snap on. I had to cut these when Daniel's Defense uh, sends them out with their uh, rail. You have they're a little long, so you got to cut them with like a pair of scissors or whatever, and uh, <clears throat> put it on there. You see it, it dresses it up a little bit and gives it a little bit softer uh, you need a hold on it. I'll flip it over right here. Put these on here. Yeah, those are the right side. You just smush them on there. Okay. Right on there. The last one. A little overhang on it. I'll have to cut that and now that's a little too long there. That goes. This this one goes on the bottom one. And pull it back off. Come on. Yeah, they're they're not too hard to take off and put back on. You just push them on there, and they just go right on, just like that, as you can see. And then the very bottom one. Let's see if I can do this one-handedly. Let's see. Here we go. Very bottom. And just push on just like that. There you go. It's all snapped on, and it looks extra badass. And it, the Daniel Defense rail, is, in my opinion, is by far the best rail you can buy for your AR platform rifle. Um, I've always been a fan of Daniel's Defense. Uh, they were one of the first set of rails I ever bought for an AR type rifle, and uh, I, I kind of steered away from them for a little while. Tried some Troy Industries. I uh, really screwed up when I tried, uh, I forgot the name brand, I'll have to put an annotation because I done forgot what the name brand, was. Oh, Midwest Industries. I tried some of those and those were just complete garbage. You know, when I they install sort of similar to how this one does, but the rail did not match up with the upper receiver's rail. It was like, you know, too low. It was just, it was just garbage rail, so I ended up getting rid of that. But... Like I said, you can't go really, you can't go wrong with the Daniel's Defense rail. I mean, you know, um, <clears throat> I had an issue in the past with a um, with a Omega Seven rail, and it wasn't Daniel's Defense fault. It was the distributor. I got um, I ordered a Daniel's Defense rail from Cheaper Than Dirt, and it came without one of the, uh, the screws on the side. And I was like, well, what the heck? So I, at first, I called Daniel's Defense. I said, hey, I don't have a I have a screw, and they asked me, well, you know, did you get it from our website, or did you did you get it from a distributor? I told them, cheaper than dirt. And they said, well, that, you know, it's just a screw, so they just went ahead and sent me uh, a screw. Even though cheaper than dirt, you know, monkeyed up and didn't give me that one that one uh, screw inside. Um, when I called Daniel Defense directly, they uh, hooked me up with a screw. No questions asked, so I was pretty happy about that. But anyways, that being said, I'm real happy the way it looks and everything. Um... My next thing, I'm not a big fan of vertical grip, and in my opinion, that Magpul 
the FSG or the little triangular thing, that, that's just a waste of time right there. I mean, I like Magpul's pistol grips. I like their their, their trigger, uh, enhanced trigger guards. Uh, basically, what I think about Magpul is when they cast their their uh, pistol grips and their magazines, the, the goo, like when they it's really hot and they, they melt it into this mold, that, that little bit of extra stuff, that polymer that drips down on the floor, you know, they remelt that down into those little those little trigger guards and those little FSG or whatever you want to call it. I damn don't give a hell about those because um, to me they just look kind of ghetto and they don't really, you know, I'm really not a vertical grip fan. However, I want to mount a uh, a Surefire G2 or a Surefire something on the side because uh, you know, nighttime something starts banging around. You know, I want to flash them right in the face with a hundred thousand lumens of strobe light in the mouth. But uh, that's what it looks like. So uh, there you go. Uh, and uh, before I go, you see this ammo here. This ammo here, uh, people bitch about all the time on CheaperThanDirt.com. If you read the reviews, uh, they say you know this jams up my AR. This doesn't work right. Mass TG556, which. <laughs> no ammo really works good out of that gun in my experience. This ammo right here, I bought 500 rounds of it. And I've shot 500 rounds flawlessly. With no cleaning at all. And surprisingly, you know, in my experience with buying this. And I, I purchased this this, uh, this month in October. Um, you know, I actually fired it a little cleaner than Wolf. And a whole lot cleaner than, uh, than uh, Brown Bear. I mean, I got that backwards. It shot a little cleaner than Brown Bear and a hell of a lot cleaner than uh, Wolf did. I don't know why that is. It's made in Russia. But uh, no problems. Full metal jacket, 55 grain, 223. And, uh, you know, if I want to really go to war, or i got to have some serious deal i got to do. I'll go to 556. Five, but I shoot the hell out of uh, 223 a lot for one on cheaperthandirt.com. Uh, these are $3, and I think. 38 cents or 85 cents or something like that cheaper than dirt.com and I suggest uh, <clears throat> ordering 50 boxes of these and they'll uh, they'll ship it to you in a big plastic bag if you order 25 boxes it's a smaller bag of 500 rounds so if you order 50 boxes of this it'll come in a in uh, two plastic bags uh, and you'll have a thousand rounds and like I said this, this ammo is pretty good pretty good no no problems with it it works fine and you know if this ammo is jamming up your AR, uh, you might got a something, some kind of issue with your AR. The tolerances in your AR-15 could be like so tight that, you know. But uh, anyways, as far as uh, shooting brass case and the steel case, remember this: you can shoot brass all day long, then switch to steel case and shoot the rest of the day. But you never want to shoot steel case and then go back to brass because what happens is brass expands in your chamber when it's extracted so it pulls that dirt and grime out or that, that carbon out with it. Uh, steel holds its shape when it, when, it, when it goes off and it allows some of that carbon to build up in your chamber so when you switch from steel back to brass the brass gets hung up in your chamber and it kind of can give you some issues. No one ever really talks about that. I might do a video about that later. Now Megan Gavir had a good idea about if you, he he likes to shoot um, in his magazine, he'll load up, uh, you know, mostly steel case and then put a couple of brass bullets in between them. So he'll shoot 10 rounds in his magazine, then there'll be a brass round. It'll go in there and kind of yank some of that grime out, and another 10 rounds, there'll be brass and like one bullet of brass in there. He'll yank a little of that grime out. He had a pretty good idea. I didn't ever think about doing that. But uh, this uh, Russian ammo, this uh, ammo right here looks just like this and it is uh, what is it polymer coated or something no problems I don't have any problems with uh, this ammo it works just fine in my AR no issues whatsoever so if you're thinking about ordering some um, you know at least you know that you know I've had good experience maybe this video you know give you a little confidence in purchasing some of this because I mean this ammo is real good, I'm telling you. For what I do, I do a lot of dirt shooting every once in a while, go target shooting. But uh, this ammo is cheap. If you want to go have a good time with some friends, you know, that, that's definitely where it's at. <clears throat> Nothing but good good, uh, good stuff about that ammo. But there's the Daniels Defense. Yep.
and I'll see you bitches later.